In construction for four, we are looking at constructing an equilateral triangle given segment AB and ray RS. Our goal is to construct an equilateral triangle using side length AB, but put it on top of RS. So the first thing we have to do is know what an equilateral triangle is. It has three congruent sides and three congruent angles. Each of those angles are 60 degrees, and the way that I'm uh, coming up with that number is that in a triangle, all angles sum up to 180. There are three angles in a triangle, so that division lends us to 60 degrees. So your first step is to measure the length of segment AB. Now when you're doing constructions, you're not actually supposed to use the ruler. Okay, You can use a straight edge, but without number marks. So in order to measure a segment while doing constructions, you put your center on one endpoint and you put your radius on the other. That's our way of measuring. So now in order to use that side length down here on RS, I'm just going to bring it down, put my endpoint or my center on endpoint R. Notice that I'm not putting it on S. You can see here that there's an arrow indicating that S extends infinitely. It goes on forever and ever and ever whereas R is an actual endpoint. It ends here. So I'm putting my center on R and I'm swinging down a little bit and then way up high. You have to go down a little bit just to show that you've actually measured the segment. So this gives me say point T. Now I'm putting my center on T and I'm swinging down just a little bit and then way up high. So here I have this intersection point, say Q. Now it looks like we could have a triangle going on here, but we don't love curvy triangles. They're a little weird. They don't actually exist. Um, so what we're going to do is actually create the triangle itself. The last and final step is to connect R to Q and T to Q. So now I have equilateral triangle QRT, where all of the side lengths are the same, all of the angles are the same, and they were constructed using the length of AB.